What's happening, everybody? I'm Team Kills, and what I like to do is make gaming easier. And Night is Prime is finally here. This is actually the only Prime where I'm going to keep the original, mainly so I can keep my bug builds intact, which are awesome, by the way. Shameless advertisement. And I also want to keep my Night is Swapathon builds. They could stay as well. Shameless advertisement. Plus, in my mind, he's good enough for two slots. Now, I got three good builds for you, but my I don't want to die build is something special. Very, very quickly, Nidus Prime is better than the original Prime in every single way. Except for shield and speed, speed is the same and they both have no shields. Plus he looks a little bit more awesome, er, er, yeah, whatever. Now on to the builds. First, this is my best of everything basic balance. Umbra build, which is meant mostly for melee, just to hack slash kicking some ass. It's really good for keeping me alive, but my power build is for when I'm feeling kind of spammy. Now my efficiency isn't the absolute best, but with growing power, this thing can jump up to 352% before any of the arcane madness gets added onto this. Plus, that's not including your Nidus stackathon like this. It's it's a lot of damage. But the whole reason I made this video is because my I don't want to die build. Actually, I haven't died since I put this thing together and, and that's not a brag because I'm sloppy. I tend to not pay attention. This is more like Warframe diapers. It takes care of my accidents. Now, Nidus' survivability is already pretty good. He wants to live. Ravenous will heal you and Parasitic Link will boost your damage, but most importantly, it will give you a 90% damage reduction if you're linked with someone and if you have a duration build oh and if you hope that person stays within range this is the ability that I usually swap out in the helmet chair so adaptation does the same thing with no energy costs now Nidus has no shields as we know so all the damage goes directly to my health but rage turns 40% of that damage into energy so basically Adaptation and Rage are almost all you need, plus the Umbras. Like, when I'm taking damage, Adaptation, I can't say that, you know which one I'm talking about. That one saves my ass. And whenever shit gets a little bit too hectic, Rage makes sure that I have enough energy that I can just use one of Nidus' crowd abilities, wrap up everyone who's trying to kill me, and kill them instead. These right here are the most important mods some of them you can actually switch. I say do an Umbra one, he's worth it. But you can get away with doing some other ones. Any of the Car Carapace mods, they can actually be swapped out for one of the Gladiator, uh, Gladiator Resolve. The real difference here is about 200 health to about 200 armor. Whichever one you think is going to keep your ass alive, that's the one you should choose. Now, Arcane Eruption is for more crowd control. Every time you pick up some energy, it knocks everybody down on their ass. Arcane Precision, this gives you an extra 300% damage for your secondary weapon when you get a face shot. Now, I make sure that my secondary weapon has Arcane Secondary Deadhead on it. What this does is when I get a face shot kill, my damage is going to stack an extra 60% and this can stack an extra 6 times on top of the 300%. Now with the Tenet Diplos, they have an automatic face lock on. It locks onto 8 faces, shoots 4 bullets per face. All those effects that I just mentioned are going to be working pretty much all the time. Now it's technically a slower build or a slower way to kill guys than running over them with a chainsaw or using any other melee weapon but I don't want to die, that's what this build is about. So it's good to have a little bit of a distance. Plus the galvanized mods are doing their usual beautiful work. I got a video that explains all the type of different fun you can have with that. It's, it is fun. Now when it comes to his ability switch, there are a bunch of good choices that make a lot of sense for Nidus. But I don't want to die, so voracious metastasis is the ability that i chose to swap out with parasitic link i can't believe i got that out in the first try it's technically the second or third last uh, helmet ability that you unlock but basically it costs energy to heal yourself and that energy will go out to your teammates like each teammate each one gets 50 energy a pop 
Now this will scale with your uh, ability power. It brings you about a thousand plus. Like it's it's gonna keep your ass alive. And that's my goal here. Now my absolute favorite thing about this build is it actually doesn't mess up anything I'm doing with my primary or melee setups. I have enough power to run around like an asshole until I run into a bigger asshole and then I can be all defensive and actually get away with it like a real asshole. Anyhow, that's my Nidus Prime. I hope it helps, hope you like it, hope you don't die. I also hope you join the team of killers and become a killer of teams. And you let me know what you're thinking in the comments. Make sure to keep it easy in life and remember, just keep gaming. off to a successful start. Ready, go to extraction.